uh, Lisa Jackson has always been really handy. That's why she's fired. But uh, she's, I remember one time I asked her the question. I said, now, you know, we're, whether you do it through legislation or regulation, if you do this and you do a cap and trade, uh, is that going to have the effect of reducing CO2 emissions worldwide? And she said, no, it wouldn't do that. And the reason is that this isn't where the problem is. And the problem is China. you got to do it in India. you got to do it in Mexico. And if you don't do that, you could have the reverse effect. If you, if you chase away our manufacturing base here, where do they go? They go to places like China and like India. It could have the effect of increasing, not decreasing it. Well, that wasn't a very popular response to the question with the administration. So that was about, that was, but this climate gate should have entered it uh, right there at that time. So then along came Gina McCarthy. She was a little bit more compatible with the administration. And if you, uh, if, if you look at the, uh, uh, the, the clean power plan, and I know you're going to be talking about that in a minute, the clean power plan is actually worse than legislation because legislation uh, affects the emissions of individuals or companies that emit uh, uh, 12,000 tons of, of, uh, of, uh, 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 of CO2. And, and if you do it by regulation, that would be under the Clean Air Act, would be 250,000 tons. Um, so it, 250 tons, yeah. So it'd be, it'd be much more expensive than the three to 400. Anyway, that's what is going on now. They can't refute the fact that the cost is between 300 and 400 billion dollars a year. Now, it'd be for cap and trade. Now, what I do in Oklahoma, just because I take these positions, and I want to make sure people back there understand that it may not be popular, but it is when you explain it. Uh, I always take, every time I hear a big figure, I take the number of families in my state of Oklahoma who file a federal tax return and I do the math. The amount of money that it would cost them would be about $3,000 a year per family. But again, even if you believe that stuff, this doesn't solve the problem. And I can tell you right now, but the people in Oklahoma, they understand that. But I do believe that that is the thing that people... Uh, the, the, the other side doesn't want to talk about is the cost.